question that I get asked all the time is how can I become more consistent? So what I want to do is look at one professional, Bernard Langer, just to see what he does to become consistent. And the other person we're going to look at is a guy called Steve Stricker, both prolific winners. Their swings appear to be very different, but they do some things uh, that are very similar. So what I want to do is just go through some of the things that I see them doing really well so that you can start to copy them and may become as consistent as they are. Okay, so the first thing that we should be looking at, uh, so Bernard's hitting driver here. Look at the width of his stance. See how narrow his stance is uh, when you compare it to, uh, dare we say, a modern long hitter. So he has a very narrow stance for a good reason. And that reason is a narrow stance allows your body to turn much easier. So if you've got a very wide base, that makes turning much more difficult. So the first thing we should all look at is maybe, is your stance the right width? Is it a similar width to Bernard's? Okay, so there's some different things to look at here. So we know that he's been able to turn his body easy because his stance is narrower, but let's look at some of the other things that he's doing from here. So what you might see from here is his left knee is now pointing behind the golf ball. Again, that's an indication that he's, uh, he's turning correctly and he's also weight transferring really well. Now, another thing that's enabling to weight transfer, look at his head, or more importantly, look at his eyes. They have actually turned behind the golf ball. Because his eyes have turned behind it, that's allowing his body to rotate so much easier. Now, what he hasn't done, he hasn't swayed from here, he's just simply turned, and what we can see there is a definite weight transfer onto his right side. So he's really getting behind the golf ball uh, so that he can deliver that club with some authority when he's hitting it. So narrow stance, lovely body turn, head movement, everything allowing him to get behind the golf ball to deliver the golf club with a really powerful blow. So what we'll do now is we'll just go to the finish of his golf swing and let's see what we can see there. So here he is uh, at the finish of his golf swing. Look how nice and straight the left side of his body is facing his target. Tremendous shoulder turn from here, but that's been allowed to happen by the way that he's moved his eyes. Now, the other thing that to really take note of is here, is his knees now are almost level with each other. And you'll see here that he's right up on his right toe, meaning that his weight's moved onto his front foot. What we've seen here in this picture as well is his balance. Balance is super important in the golf swing. And we can see here that Bernard has finished in balance. Doesn't always finish that way, but when he's playing really well, he tends to finish in balance. So just some very simple things that we could all uh, recreate when we're hitting golf shots. But now let's have a look at Steve Stricker. It appears to be a different golf swing, but let's see if there's any similarities. So I hope you're enjoying this video. Remember to give it a like, and if you've got a comment to share with us, pop it in the box below. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get a notification every time a new video is released. Now, at the time of you watching this, we're actually in Portugal running a proper golfing coaching holiday. And if you'd like to join us on a future holiday, there is a link in the description below. So here we've got Steve Stricker, another golfer I really admire. He plays very few tournaments, and yet still manages to win very consistently. So, Driver here in his hand, look at his width of stance again. So quite a narrow stance. This is definitely going to allow him to turn his body so much easier. So he's not following the trend where golfers are getting much wider with their stance. He's kept it nice and narrow. And the ball, you might just see from here, the golf ball is just inside his left heel. So it doesn't have to be uh, bang in line with the heel. He's got it just inside that. So that's the first thing that we should all uh, compare ourselves to. So here he is at the top of his backswing, and again you'll see from here his knee has gone behind the object ball. He's got a lovely hip turn and a lovely shoulder turn. But what I want you to pay a bit of attention to is look at his left arm. There's an actual bend in his left arm. Now, golfers are told to keep their arm nice and straight. What that's telling me is he's definitely keeping his arm relaxed. 
Remember, relaxed muscles are fast muscles. That's going to send that golf ball a bit further. You also see that he has got a weight transfer and his, high, his eyes are actually looking behind the golf ball again. So we can see that his head is slightly turned, looking a slightly away from the golf ball. So I'm not saying to you, look over here, but you can see how that mobility in his head and his eyes is allowing him to weight transfer so much better. So here's Steve uh, in his finish position. Again, look how straight his left side is. So he's not buckled in any way. He's definitely moved his weight onto the front foot. And a telltale sign if you've moved correctly. If you look at his left foot, you can see that his toes are slightly pointing upwards. So that's how we should be finishing on your left side, ideally, if you're able to do that. And again, you'll see here that he's right upon his right toe. So his knee, his whole body is facing target and again it appears that he's finishing in balance. Balance again is absolute key for consistency. Also look where his eyes are. You can see now he's almost following the flight of the golf ball. He's not kept his head down and he looks pretty relaxed in this position. So there's some very um, familiar things that we can see in both golfers. Although their swings appear to be different, they're definitely doing quite a few things uh, consistently that look exactly the same. So what I want to do now is just demonstrate those key things so that you can apply it to your golf swing. So the first thing to look at is the width of stance. I just want to show you this. So if I have a really wide stance from here, although I'm relaxed, let's see how much my body can turn. And that's me pretty much done. And I feel like I'm under a lot of strain with that really wide stance. So if I go to the narrow stance, just like Steve and Bernard are doing, watch this. So now I've got a lot more rotation in my body, a lot, a lot better turn, but also it's not hurting. As soon as I go here, I just feel under strain to do that. So that narrow stance is definitely going to enable you to turn better, but also takes the strain off your body. So that's the, the very first thing that we should all look at. You will also might notice that the golf ball was slightly inside their uh, lead foot, uh, in, in their case, their left heel. So again, I would have no issues with that whatsoever. So now let's just go to the top of the backswing. Let's see what we can see from here. So on Bernard's uh, backswing, what we saw is his lead knee was pointing behind the object ball, as was Steve's. Now, I would say that Bernard had did this a little bit more, but look at the head turn. So the head or the eyes were turning slightly behind the golf ball, which is an enabling a lot better weight transfer. But watch what happens if I keep my eye on the ball. And now my body feels under strain and I don't feel like I've got anywhere near as, as big a turn, but also it doesn't feel like I'm transferring my weight very well. So just allowing your eyes, your head to turn slightly behind the ball, it feels, it almost feels like my head is pointing here, but although I can still see the golf ball, no problem, but I've got that better turn. And then what we saw with Steve's swing at the top of the backswing, that lead arm was softer. So it wasn't like a rock. It wasn't rigid from there. It was softer, meaning that he's more relaxed. And the other thing that they both do really well is they've got a, a weight transfer behind the object ball. So at no point has their lead knee gone forward and their weight stayed forward. They've got behind the object ball. That's gonna enable you to hit the back of it with more authority. So now we're looking at the finish of the golf swing. Again, looking at what they were doing consistently well. So the first thing that we could probably see is their left side of their body was nice and straight. So it wasn't arched in any way. The weight wasn't on their back foot. Their body appeared nice and straight. And both had a fantastic body turn through impact. So remember, we're looking to try and get the body to move in this direction. The other thing that we were noticing from there is on Steve's swing, when he was hitting his driver full out, his front foot was slightly up on here. Now, what I can feel is more weight on my left heel as a right-handed golfer. So there's no weight on my uh, left toe whatsoever. It's almost down the side of the shoe. And then from here, both feet were up on their toe, meaning that there's very little weight on their back foot. And then we saw them kind of following that golf ball. So we didn't see them with their head down here in this funny position. They both finished that golf swing 
brilliantly in balance. Remember, balance is key to becoming a consistent golfer. So there's some very simple things that I feel that we can all do. Uh, so we're not, I never ask people to try and copy a tour player's golf swing, but there are some things that I'm gonna say senior golfers should be doing and copying some of the things that Bernard and Steve are doing is definitely going to make you uh, hit the golf ball better and become more consistent. So just to finish these things off, let's hit a couple of shots and see if what I'm talking about works. So I just feel my stance is narrower, very, very relaxed in my setup. I didn't feel like I put any effort into that and yet there it goes sailing down the middle of the fairway. Uh, it felt in balance, quite an easy golf shot for me. Let's just do another one. God, that felt so good. <laughs> that felt so good. So again, that felt really easy. I've, I'm in balance, I turn very well and just a nice golf shot flying down the middle. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned some new things that you should be able to apply to your golf game very quickly. Now this complements a new series of videos that I've made on consistency for the members of Proper Golfing. And if you'd like access to those and you'd like to join, you can do so by clicking in the link in the description below. And remember to leave a comment and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, bye.